Oh, well, hello there. Today we are talking about. So why are we doing another bacon video, you might ask? Well, it's because you guys have commented more on my bacon videos than you do any of the other videos. I have had more fun talking to you, everybody out there, about bacon this last week than I have any of the other fishing stuff. So, one of the biggest questions was, how do you cook your bacon, Wolf? Well, I'll tell you. So I cook mine in the oven, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you. We're going to run back in the house. I'm going to show you how I cook it, and then come back out of the shop with me, and what I'll do is I'll tell you why I like to cook my bacon in the oven. Oh, enough of that. I digress. Into the kitchen. So starting off, what you're first going to need is your cooking sheet, and then I like to use tin foil for mine. Get it on there nice and even, and then grab your bacon. So then lay out your bacon as much as you have across the entire pan. Sometimes if you're gonna use the whole pack, you'll need two sheets. Go ahead and give it a nice layer of salt. Then go ahead and crack pepper is my favorite way to do it. It just adds a little bit of extra flavor. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you are, da -da 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 -da, is go ahead and preheat your oven to 385. Pop in the oven for around 20 minutes, the way I like it. I'll tell you the different crispy levels here in a second, and voila, that is awesome. So generally at this point, what I like to do is go ahead and dab off a lot of that grease, and then let it cool and you're ready to eat. And then for the tin foil part, this is why I like to go ahead and use tin foil. Pretty much easy cleanup afterwards. Let it cool, fold up. So yeah, that's extremely easy. Nothing really too hard to that. Now, why do I cook my bacon in the oven? The reason I do it is it gives me a lot other room up on the countertop to cook my eggs or any other stuff that I'm cooking at the time so I don't use up all my stove top and then I can kind of do it in parallel while I'm cooking my bacon. And so back to the bacon hack thing, one thing that I didn't talk about in the video, the reason that I really cut that down the middle, yes, I like to save the other side, stick it in a Ziploc baggie and just throw it in the freezer and I find it a lot easier to kind of work with this. I don't like these big large pieces of bacon. So the reason that I do that is I like just to cutting it in half and I find it is a lot easier to serve people with and then I, like, I make a lot of bacon and tomato sandwiches. So uh, yeah, that's it. I just did another bacon video. See you guys on the next video. I hope you're staying safe out there and uh, uh, peace.